Good morning, class. Today we're going to learn about the MLA format. MLA stands for Modern Language Association, and it has a number of rules to follow. The Works Cited page is what we're going to work with specifically today, and this is part one of your tutorial. The Works Cited page is your reference page. If you are doing research, you must have a Works Cited page. As you can see in this finished document, your last name is in the header along with the page number. Also, the title of the page is centered. The author's last name is first, and the second line of this source document is indented. This is called a hanging indent, and all the author's names are in alphabetical order. Today, I will show you an easy way to accomplish these goals. First, open up your Works Cited data file, and your data file should look like this. Our first step is going to be to change the margins. So on your ribbon, find page layout. Go to the margin drop-down arrow and click one inch all the way around. This will set your margins to one inch all the way around your document. Second, let's go back to the home tab on the ribbon. And what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the entire document by clicking Control A. We are learning to use our shortcut keys. So we're going to change the font face. So this is your font group. So we're going to click on the font face drop down arrow and make sure the font face is going from Calibri to Times New Roman. Also, we're going to change the font size. The font size is 11 currently. We're going to click on the drop down arrow and make the font size 12. MLA format. In the MLA format, all of your documents must be Times New Roman 12 point font. In addition, your entire document must be double spaced. So we're going to go over to the paragraph group and click on that little arrow. A dialog box will appear. You should be in the Indent and Spacing tab. Go all the way down to the Spacing heading and look under Line Spacing. Click on the drop-down arrow and click on the word Double. Make sure that you have this checked. Don't add space between paragraph of the same style and then click OK. This should make your document totally double space. All right. We have to go back into the paragraph group and do the line spacing. So what we're going to do, instead of clicking on this little drop down arrow, we're going to right click with our mouse. And then we're going to click on the word paragraph. And that will bring up the same dialog box. You should be in the indents and spacing tab. Under indent, go to special and click the drop down arrow. You should see the word that says hanging. Click on hanging. Next to hanging, you'll see by as a title and it should say 5.5. That means the hanging indent is going to be tabbed in 0.5. Click OK. Your entire document now is double spaced and has the hanging indent. D double click in the white area to take off the highlight. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to center the title. So click right by the title. You do not have to highlight the title to center it. Go to your paragraph group and click on the center icon. That will center your document. 